come back to this same image as we kind of go through it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a snapshot. I'm going to really recommend that you highlight the computer you want to take a snapshot of, right? And then actions. There's no snapshot here, but what you can do is you can click on elastic block storage and go snapshots with yours highlighted. And you can go create snapshot. It will select a volume. There's a lot of volumes in here because we've got a lot of people, so we don't know what our volume name is, right? And it doesn't take you right to it. So what we need to do is we need to find our volume name on our instances. So mm -hmm. yes, our volume name is our AM is our AMI ID. Yes. So that is our volume ID. And I'm not going to copy paste it. I'm just going to kind of write it down here for a minute. Hmm? We want our we want our volume. We want the volume, not the AMI ID. So snapshots, I want to create a snapshot and the volume I want is I7. which is not there. I always forget which one has got the stupid volume on it. That's this reservation, kernel ID. So that should be its volume ID. Okay. So that should be my. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a snapshot and I'm just going to choose someone's volume at random. All right. So when you get a name on it, put your name on it. All right, and then a description, and click on create. And then give it a minute to catch up with me. There we go. It actually has to be up and running. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get a snapshot that's going to set aside eight gigs for you with a name and a description. You can always change the name over, right? So if you want to change the name, you can add tags to it, add edit tags. So we just randomly pulled the box out, right? And that will give it the ability to know who's got what, where with it, all right? And what it does is it basically stores a snapshot of everything you've done up to that point, all right? And then we'll learn how to actually launch off that as we kind of go through. But that's basically how you do a snapshot. Snapshots are really straightforward, not a big deal, except for uh, we need to find the volume ID. So I'm going to go hunt and look for the volume ID so we all know where it is. Yeah, I'd take a snapshot at the end of the day. That way you guys actually have something you can go work with and finish up. All right? Yep. Yes? I have got a trouble ticket out to Amazon on this one to try to get an increase up to 75 running instances. They just haven't cleared it yet. Amazon help is sometimes not exactly swift. Um... PKI random bits somewhere in there. Uh, if keys go bad because they get opened, keys go bad because the hard drive felt like making a bad block or a bad bit in there somewhere, keys can go bad for any number of reasons. That's why there's usually backups of keys all over the place. So key management is a huge issue with AWS.
key management, if you're making too many keys, that's an issue. That's a real issue with it. That's also a key management issue. That's going to be defined by the policy at the company. So if you've made multiple backups of the same key, yeah. right, that's going to be what the company says and does is by policy, right? But if you try to email a key, email will corrupt it. If you open it up, you open it up the wrong way, email, will, it will get corrupted. So it's just kind of part and parcel of the whole key process. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So it kind of makes sense on creating a snapshot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so for snapshot, like you're saying, you highlight it and you go over here to snapshot. Mm -hmm. Do you have other actions that mm -hmm. this creates? Um, That's a completely different issue. Okay. Because that was just, well, this is just yeah. so it creates a snapshot as well, but it's just a different. It's a completely okay. different process, and we'll cover that in the next couple of days. Okay. Because you can actually make your own custom image. So you take a flat stock Amazon image and you can actually create your own Amazon machine image once you've got it all done. So if I wanted to, I could make a Windows 2008 server image, customize it for my company, and then save that off underneath the way that you were talking about. Exactly. So it kind of makes sense? All right. So images are very different than snapshots, all right? A snapshot is a backup copy of everything you were doing to a certain point. An image is something that you boot off of once you've customized it, right? So if we wanted to make a custom Linux install for my company, we could go in and start here. We'd totally customize it for everything we wanted. We could put on all of our software. We could put on all of our antivirus. We could put on all of our IDS. And then we can save that off as my own company image. And then once I've got that company image, we can set it up so anyone can launch that image and they already have a company-specific Windows 2008 server. They don't have to go shopping in the Amazon marketplace. They don't have to pull some random image. We already have something we've made for the company. Because yep, so you could have sales images, HR images. You could have IDS images. Um, if you are a company like Netflix, you have an image and you can make a duplicate of that by customizing it and then actually use that to fail over to a completely different Amazon area. When you have an image, it's a lot more portable than a snapshot. Snapshot is kind of geographically fixed at times, right? A snapshot really doesn't show up anywhere. It's kind of stored off here on the side. When you have an image, it's actually stored in your S3 bucket. So you can transport it tons easier. A snapshot's more like just a copy. Like yep. Yep, exactly. That's a good way. That's a good analogy, though. A snapshot's more like a copy paste of where you were at the time you shot it down, where an image is an actual. I can boot off of this. I'm ready to go. It has all my stuff on it. Life is happy. All right. Does it make sense? Are we good? Okay.